setting boundaries. And this is the only thing you really have to focus on for now. Like setting boundaries is so important. There are several ways that you can do this. And boundaries is all about, as you might know, saying what it is that you do, what it is that you will do, and what it is that you will not do, right? Drawing that line. Um, it's kind of similar to what we did with legal, but legal is just like the paperwork and the documents and things like that. But ethical, we're talking about actions, actually. When we're talking about like boundaries with, to practice ethically, we're talking about actions here, what it is that we'll do, what it is that we won't do outside of the paperwork stuff. So boundaries, we can set this by setting session expectations right session expectations and boundaries and lines or rules <laughs> they're all like the kind of same thing so session rules um and this is something that you just keep in your own mind and you can also communicate this with your clients i think it would be a really good idea actually uh, but you set the boundary or rule um, saying that there are things that you can do within a session and there are things that you can't do within a session. So having that boundary in place. So to give you an example, um, you can say, these are the XYZ topics that I can cover in my session, in my non-closed session. And there are ABC topics that I will not do. I will not focus on. I will not cover within my program or service because those are like more clinical topics or more clinical niches. So you just know that that is out of your realm, right? That is out of your expertise, perhaps. And that is how you can set a session boundary, right? Kind of defining what it is that you can do and defining what it is that you can't do, right? So maybe giving you a concrete example would be good. Um, so you can say, I can help people within session cover topics relating to or help them just you know, go through any troubles that they're experiencing, right? Maybe relationship wise, or maybe their self relationship, things like that. But uh, the things that you will not do within a session is do what a therapist do when a client is um, actively suicidal or is at the risk of hurting someone right now. And so that will be more like the clinical thing, right? And so you just draw that line and say to yourself or have that boundary within yourself that I will not do those things. 